Hey guys, this is RupeshMBO.com and recently when we made a video on gadgets you can buy under 100 rupees, I was really surprised at how useful those gadgets were. So you know what, we went ahead and we decided to up the budget a little. Focus on the little because we upped the budget to 250 rupees and you know what, even at 250 rupees, it's super surprising how many useful gadgets you can actually get. It's just fascinating. So let's not waste any more time, let's check out the gadgets that you can buy under 250 rupees that are actually useful and yeah if you find these guys are surprising make sure to hit the like button let's start first up earphones you can actually get a decent pair of earphones under 250 rupees see i actually bought and tried four earphones under 250 rupees this one from philips that looks super cheap this one from Petron that sounds super cheap this one from bold that feels super cheap and this from Ambrain which is also cheap but pretty good compared to the rest. First of all the Ambrain earphones look pretty good for earphones that cost 250 rupees and secondly they sound surprisingly good. The treble is clear and crisp and the bass is as good as it gets in this price range so it's pretty good. It also has a mic which is not great not good but it's usable. To be honest my expectations for earphones under 250 rupees were really really low but this is actually something you can buy and use, so yeah, I'm surprised. So the big question, can you get a tablet under 250 rupees? Well, you can actually. You can get this sort of cheap looking LCD tablet from Ionix. And on this tablet, you can only do one single thing, right? Well, this tablet comes with a pressure sensitive pen that you can fix right here and it's good for taking notes or using it as a scratch pad. It's also great for kids. I remember we used to have these old school slates with chalks and everything and I remember we used to eat the chalks which is obviously not something you want your kid to do so this solves that too. Also one feature I really like is the lock button on the back which makes sure you can't delete what's on the screen although you can still write on it. Now this is missing even on higher price Portronics writing tablet which I've tried. So yeah, this is good. And as for the price, 220 rupees. Awesome, right? Okay, so I'm gonna get straight to the point here. You can get this gaming mouse for less than 250 rupees. And I'm not kidding. This is not your trashy cheap gaming mouse. This is your non-trashy, slightly cheap gaming mouse from Red Game. First of all, trust me, from the looks of it, nobody can believe that this is a mouse that costs 249 rupees. I mean, with the RGB lighting and its design, this looks very cool, although the build quality is a little cheapish. Now, let me be clear, this is not a full-fledged gaming mouse because there are no additional buttons, but there is a DPI button which lets you switch between four DPI levels and you can get a max of 2400 DPI, which is pretty good for a mouse at this price. Now, if you're not a gamer, the awesome thing is there is also this usual work mouse from Dell, which also costs 249 rupees. So yeah, there are even different options under 250 rupees. So this is a pen that costs 199 rupees. And this reminds me of... It is too round on the top. It needs to be pointy. Anyway, this is a super useful pen because this is a stylus. It's also a pen. It has a compass on the top. It has a two side screwdriver inside the body. It also works as a phone holder. And it's also a torch. Yeah, this is the most feature packed pen I have ever seen. I mean, it costs 200 rupees. So at 250 rupees, you can get a usual mouse, a gaming mouse. So it's not surprising that you can also get a keyboard. Well, this is a Zinc full-size keyboard, which is not the most tactile keyboard out there, but it's also not the worst. So you can type on this keyboard, but the keys are compactly laid out. So I think you'll need some time getting used to it. Also, if you look closely, you can see the text on the keys will not last very long. But hey, this costs 220 rupees. So I suppose it isn't that bad. Now, did you notice this really cool looking mouse pad when I was talking about the Dell mouse? If you didn't, I wouldn't hold it against you because it looks pretty basic. But this is a gel mouse pad with wrist rest support. 
Yeah, as you can see, it has this wrist support with a gel inside, so you can use the mouse like this. And yeah, it's pretty comfy to use. Now, I like the height of the wrist support and the mouse pad is good to use, but two things. First up, the durability is something I have a doubt on and the pack is a little too sticky. So don't use it on your bed, otherwise it might give people the wrong idea. Overall, it's 249 rupees, so worth the price. I mean, who cares what people think? And if you don't want to get a gel mouse pad with the wrist rest, you can also get this super cool KMI mouse pad. It also costs 249 rupees. It's way bigger and it's way smoother and responsive. Plus it looks cool and I've tried it with the gaming and non-gaming mouse and this works well with both of them. This is actually useful. Now another thing you can get under 250 rupees is this, this Gorilla tripod that supports both cameras as well as smartphones thanks to the smartphone holder that comes in the box of this Gorilla tripod. See, a Gorilla tripod is especially useful today with more and more people making short videos and this is something you can place on any surface or even places like your room's door handle thanks to its flexible legs. Now, I have doubts on the quality but it's still great that you can get this for just 250 rupees. Now, speaking of short videos of Reels, well, if you're a budding Reeler or a Reels Influenza, well, this is for you. So you must have seen people use ring lights when they shoot and this ring light costs 190 rupees. So you can just clip it on your phone and there are three levels to this ring light. Here's a video I shot from the selfie camera without the ring light and with the ring light side by side. And you can see that this small ring light actually makes a difference. I mean, the big ring lights cost around 2000 rupees and you can actually get 10 of these for that price. Attach it all over your phones and well, your videos will look brighter than your future. Let's face it, most laptop speakers are nasty little underpart pieces of shit and so are these speakers but hey at least they're loud and they cost 250 bucks unlike your 70,000 rupee laptop. So this is Zebronix Pluto, excellent name, speakers and these are USB part speakers that have sound output of 5 watts in total. Now these are not the best sounding speakers but they're loud and that makes it pretty good for watching movies and shows. If your laptop speaker is subpar which it probably is and yeah here's how they sound. Now, wide earphones are good to have under 250 rupees, but what if I told you, you can actually get Bluetooth earphones under 250 rupees. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it is. These are just bad. Well, these are actually gadget zone wireless Bluetooth neckband earphones, and these are just so bad. Not comfy, can't hear shit. Buttons are mislabeled, the volume minus button actually increases the volume, the volume plus button actually decreases the volume. I mean, how hard is this? That's what she said. <laughs> well, all the jokes apart, the gadgets are actually pretty useful. I mean, most gadgets are, especially because they are under 250 rupees. So make sure to share this video because, hey, this video is super cool. Also tell me, which is your favorite gadget from this list? Mine is the small ring light because my future may not be bright. That light is definitely very bright. Anyway, make sure to comment down below also, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.